Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jats Alex, and today I have a just the installation of the new Windows 8 um, developer program, beta, whatever you want to call it. Windows 8 early release. So I've already given it a name. Um, I've just finished, you know, if you've ever installed Windows before, it like if you put in the CD, it gives you some it kind of installs and then restarts. This is the first screen you get. Let's hit next. Let's see. Settings. We'll do we'll do customize just to uh, check everything out. Um, let's see. Do you want to share like the network, like printers and documents and stuff? Yes. Um, help protect your PC. Automatically install important. So these are updates from Windows. Sure. Okay. Just installing like drivers, latest stuff. A little bit of some Windows Advanced Windows Firewall, and um, there's so there's supposed to be apps and stuff, kind of like you know, this Windows 8 is really supposed to integrate the tablets and the phones and the uh and the desktop. It's really supposed to be a uh kind of like a combination, or like you know, so you can go between the platforms really easy. Um, yeah, send anonymous. Doesn't say anonymous, but uh, sure, sure. We'll, we'll join all this for the sake of the video. Use Windows and recording error to check. You have to do that, I guess, because it's a beta. It sends the error reports. You know, if you've ever gotten that before. Uh, yeah. If you want the latest fixes? It's a beta, of course I do. Um, okay. Help files, kind. All right. So now that it's creating my account, it's finalizing my settings. So the reason I want to create a new account is kind of because I expect this email. Will, you know, I, I plan to get a Windows phone for you guys. I plan to get some more Windows Windows tablet, hopefully, you know, with more products from Windows. And I assume kind of like the Gmail, you know, it's all going to be universally hooked up to my um, email. So I kind of just wanted to create that other email, my old email from live.com. was kind of a spam email. So I just I just want to get rid of all that. But anyways, let's uh let's see what this is up to. So it's preparing my PC, which I guess is the new way of saying pre like preparing your your desktop for the first time, which is what the old Windows kind of used to say. All right, now that it's doing something, it's uh I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Where if you guys are following along with me. All right, hopefully. All right, and uh, here we go. So we got oh. What's going on? Alright, so I'm actually not familiar with these, this panel system, which is, I believe, how... Can we make this a little bigger? I don't know why I didn't... Let's, let's see if I can make this full screen. Um, why did it do that? Oh, that didn't work. But, uh, let's just... Can we do this? Oh. Uh, alright, alright. We'll, we'll just work from here. It's, it, it's big. You guys, you guys can make it bigger. Alright, so I'm actually not that familiar with the whole tile panels, but uh, let's take a look at this. So right here is kind of our startup screen. We got some scroll over, so I guess if you're on a tablet, you can, you know, you'll be using your finger. And I know Logitech's, if you've ever seen one of those Apple one, the little trackpad that you can move with your mouse. I know uh, Logitech just came out with one of those, which might go really nicely with this new setup. So um, I guess this will be the default setup instead of your desktop. Looks like we can get to our desktop from here. And to get back to that, we don't know yet. Okay, what did I do? Let's see. So to switch back and forth, you click on that. Okay. And so you got like Internet Explorer. See how that looks. I believe this is actually the new Internet Explorer 10. Did it decide to do anything? Yes? Maybe? Um, so here's your control panel store. It's like the window stores. Um, I'm assuming this. I don't know why everything's not working. Um, oh, so you can you can move things around, which makes sense. Um, just like many of the OSs and stuff. That way you can really customize it and do what you want. I'm assuming. Here we go. Control panel at least opened up. All right. So we got our personality. So what is this? Our our. Uh, Screen preview. All right, this is annoying. Let's see if we can, can, we, can we get this bigger, please. 
Alright, you know what we're gonna do? No? Okay. You know what I mean? Alright, well, we're just gonna work on my satellites. So, uh, let's see, how do we get. Alright, so I hit escape and it brought us back to here. And I believe there's. Let's try to, uh, show desktop. Alright, so let's take a look right here. So we got. Uh, the, it's the 8102 build, which I guess is the first build. Um, Windows Developer Preview, which is like the beta. Oh, so if you just hover it over, you get all this information. Um, I'm connected to a you know, landline versus a Wi-Fi. So if you click on it, it brings you to here, and you can access all this information. Okay, so you're, so you're, uh, this is just like before. Let's try going back to that. Let's try uh, weather. No. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys are kind of starting to see how this all works. So this is very different, though. This this. Hmm. I don't know. It's 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 all different. I don't know if I'm liking it. But um, you know, we'll I'll, I'll mess around with this for a day or two and then get my first impressions and then I'll probably mess around with it longer and then uh get my longer impressions. Um. So I guess you can just search for whatever you want for your applications, and it kind of gives you a list of everything. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll try to test this out, get, give my uh, give some thoughts and stuff. And um, if you guys want to know where to download this, you don't need to ha be like Apple and pay like $100 or anything. It's all completely free. I would recommend installing it on a backup computer or installing it virtually like I did um, because you never know what can go on it. And usually, at least with the, um, like, if you install this on your regular computer, when Windows 8 officially comes out and you try to update it, you can't go from the beta to the regular one. You actually just, you have to go from the beta and you have to format everything and then you go to the real Windows 8. So I would actually recommend against installing this on your, pro you could do like a dual boot. I would recommend anything except, you know, uh, except like overwriting your current Windows 7, Vista, XP, whatever. But, um, yeah. So it's kind of a combination of Windows 7 and uh, the new tablet OS and phone OS and tablet, uh, the tile, brick, whatever it's called, operating system. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. And uh, yeah, peace. For photos and stuff like you'll be able to turn on auto photo sharing. I believe that's under the photo section. And so it'll automatically photo stream.